Looks like the door's power supply's been cut. The trouble spots are out there. This drone can repair it. We'll need to escort it. Unfortunately, the drone is damaged and is on reserve power. Let's make it quick then. Okay, so you gotta stick with the drone. Level up, let's do some leveling up. What can we do? So let's have a look at what I've been doing. Um, Adrenaline Rush Concussive Shot and Proximity Mine. All at the same level, but Proximity Mine is obviously the best one. A concuss concussive Shot is also pretty good. But we're going to stick with uh, Proximity Mine, so what can we do? Increase the amount of damage, that is... Oh, from all other sources by 20% bar for 8 seconds. Or I can slow the target's movement speed. Hmm. I will go with damage taken because I don't think the movement speed affects all enemies. I need more points, okay, never mind. Uh, you're getting overload. And lift grenade. Yeah, so like some of the, the more powerful enemies don't get affected by movement speed debuffs, so uh, might as well go with the more damage. What we do is just sit here, defend the drone. How has it already lost some shields? God damn it, did it spawn with less shields? God damn it. One repair done. I've got to stay with it. I think I've got to stay in its proximity, otherwise, it doesn't move. Okay, just please reload your gun. Got it. Where is it? I don't know where it is. I've lost a drone. Commander, we still need to escort that drone. I don't know where it is. You need to be closer to the drone. Oh there it is. Great. Come right on next to the bad guys. Oh good. Come on, keep going. I got your drone. Uh, I do say that after I just lost it. Shit, take him out. The drone is running I hear you. I'm on it. Come on, that proximity man is so good. Took out all the shields. Okay, I don't know what was going on there. I was doing a power attack, but then it jumped on me to interrupt my power attack, and then the camera just freaked the fuck out. But I'm alive, so all is well. Yeah, all's good. No oh, more banshees. God damn it! Let's head back. Yours should be online. Oh, that was awesome. Time for reloading everything. Aim for the boobs. That's another weak point. That was a shit proximity mine. If I had it right at my feet. Okay, we're we good. No chance of instant kills. Okay, so one thing that annoys me about this weapon is that you need to activate the reload in order for it to obviously start recharging but you also got to wait a few seconds after you've initiated reload if you do like a dodge roll or start running or get interrupted you have to do it all over again which is annoying but it makes sense it's got infinity ammo and it does a shit ton of damage it's a decent trade-off Okay, the gel layer absorbed that impact. All fine, all good. Damn it. Everything else in the room is destroyed.
Shepard, over here. What have you got? That was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data, and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Anne Bryson. Anne Bryson? Who... who are you? What are you doing here? Listen to come back to the senses. You all right? I think so. I feel like I feel strange, but all right. Well, good luck with that. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you I'm sure yourself? there's no lasting mental effects. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper. What's a Reaper? Oh shit. What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. Oh what? shit. Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. These people are unaware of the past 10 years. Many things will show them. <laughs> you mean like a Prophean talking to them? That's interesting. So have they been under control for like the past 10 years or has the de destroying the artifact is that like wiped out the last 10 years of memory? We need that power. If it's a Reaper, we need to know its motivations. How long has it been out here and more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes, they suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, their power and danger are clear. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. Are there any artifacts during um, Javik's time? I think there should be. Okay, new message. What have we got? Feeling much better from Caden Alenko. Hey Shepard, still in the hospital, but I'm up my feet. Eating solid food and making trouble for the nurses. They'll probably throw me out of here soon. Come by if you're in the Citadel, same room. Cool. Any anything else? No, okay. Let's go back to the Citadel. What we'll do is I'll have a look around, try and remember if there's anything we can do. Any side quests or anything. And then we'll go and uh, do the rest of the Leviathan DLC. So that weird. Leviathan DLC. There we go. Much better. Oh, Cortez, hello. Are you okay? I've just been standing here holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. you but I know you don't make me an anchor promise me Steve goodbye Robert Ooh, oh, I almost pressed it it's not, it's not a renegade option I'm glad you came oh is that it I just need a few moments to myself oh, it would have been nice to have a renegade option but like just get back on the ship dude I need you to be there Quit crying and get back to work. Uh, Kelly, did we speak to you before? Well, I followed your advice. What do you think of my new look? <laughs> well, I prefer redheads. It's a shame you need a disguise. I liked your old look. Me too. But sacrifices must be made. Kelly Chambers is no more. Citadel records now show me as Felicia Hannigan of the mining vessel Typhoon. Pleased to meet you, Felicia. No, you can call me Kelly. Cool. These refugees have no place to go. Nice to see you, Kelly. I've already forgotten what your fake name was. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I do apologize. 
And you. Oh, it's going dark. I think this is a mission is for. Yeah, it is. It's Kazumi. Regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Oh yeah, watch me. I don't think the hey Kazumi, you're not that invisible. You're flashing white. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. <laughs> I like the creepy head turn. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Okay, he's a spectator. You should be able to take that guy out. Or I just do that. <laughs> Oh, I killed the Hano. I, I'm saying, oh, but it was a bad guy. But I mean, Hanos are just so adorable. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! Oh no, Kazumi! She was here the entire time. People on the other side of the glass don't give a fuck. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Uh, she's invisible. Just poke around what the body you used to be. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor with a few friends. That was easy enough. You can come out now. How do you know? It was obvious. Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. Christ, get closer to the camera. I'll be in your mouth. Hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it, all that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right, I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Awesome. Got some renegade for that. I'm not sure why. Because I was like, I said, watch me to the Hannah. That's not exactly renegade. You're good. Lovelies. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship. Yeah, a friend. I I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a. a medical condition it's okay it's in the file the farm girl calls into me that another asari is here i thought the shuttle had gotten back early i come out in a towel and and Neira walks through the door but it wasn't her not anymore mm. okay indoctrinated then is that what happened Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? No. I'm actually here to see you. Oh, really? How can I help you? Nothing. Goodbye. Got the good work done. You too. Hmm. Thinking about that. Sorry then. So said that they had a. What was it? Um. So like a medical condition. Um. So is that the same thing that not tomorrow? Um. Oh Christ! What's the name? Oh, what's the name now? It begins with an M, I believe. Oh fuck, I can't remember, remember her name now. It's Mara's daughter, the evil one. That if uh, they ha it's a medical condition that she has, which I think this other sorry has at uh, the that was, that was speaking in the other room, um, where if they have sex, they kill somebody. I believe you were looking for these prototypes. You found them? Camera freaks out then, that's interesting. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Cool. 90 experience. The timeline is reasonable. Excellent. How much experience do you get from like the medi packs that you find in the field if you're full of medi gel? You get like a hundred, don't you? Not a lot of XP, but I mean it all adds up. 
Okay, uh, Caden's not in this room, but we can open it. Anything useful? No. And why is it there? Caden is not in his bed. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I was, I was, I was looking at the bed. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Spectre Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. You're more than qualified. Can't think of a more deserving candidate. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec ops squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. See you later. And then after we're done here, we're going to go to finish off the the in DLC. That's my goal for this session: to complete the DLC. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Hey, I remember you, Shepard. Right? Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch Athena. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Oh yeah, yeah, it's the bar it made, isn't it? The, the bartender? Making noise. I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. Hmm, okay, I don't remember that. Yeah. Matriarch Benazio was some. Um, That's why subtitles ruin it for you. Mother. And, uh. Well, she doesn't know it, but. I was her father. Oh, shit. That is interesting. So, she was the child of two matriarchs. That's gotta be. Like, uh. Impressive for the Liam. That's like being born into a royal family. I shouldn't spy on her, though. If you care enough to stalk her, you'd be better off introducing yourself. Her mother made a choice. You expect me to just pull up a chair and say hi a hundred years later? Besides, Hold on, I want to pause it. Back. Hold on. Did she say she was a father? So, if, if two are sorry get together, do they choose who's a male and who's a female? But she keeps referring to Benezia as a mother. And herself as a father. How does this work exactly? Is that just like a sort of Because biologically nothing changes, right? <laughs> so is it just like a social thing? Oh, well, when they discovered other species, did they when they realized there was more than one gender, were they like, oh shit. <laughs> It changes everything. Oh my god. Uh, you okay? Hmm. Just thinking about it. So it doesn't make sense to you that like they would have mothers and fathers because it would all be mothers. Even then, they wouldn't have like male and female names because to them, male and female stuff doesn't exist. It's just all a sorry. So. Really, it's, it's, it's bizarre. I don't get it. A human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Oh, I need to familiar. keep my hand on control a bit. Don't press the left trigger. You combine her work with Benazia, and well, that's not gonna happen. No argument here. I only took these crap jobs to keep the matriarchs happy that she's under control. Just as long as we're clear. We're clear. You should come clean with her. It'd be better for everyone. 
Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, I think we have to come back after a mission and see the the events that happens after because of that. If that's even a thing. The matriarch hired by the Asari government to track my movements. She's your father. I know. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Liara. Oh, of course you do. I never get to surprise you with anything. I'm a very good information broker. It's true, but you're terrible with eye contact. And you haven't talked to her about spying on you? If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for family reunions. Make Liara talk to her, okay. No, but it's your choice. Just making sure you knew. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate it. Yeah, she's like, the, the choice make her talk to her? Why is she a child? Go and talk to her now. Okay, but we did convince the matriarch to go and talk to Liara. So it's gonna happen anyway. Who knows? Nobody does. <laughs> 